let's start with the finance ministry because Yanis Varoufakis resigned earlier this morning. It does look like Yuli Tsakalotos is going to become his successor. Does that make it any more likely that Greece is going to be able to reach a deal with its European creditors? Yes, I believe uh, European leaders and Eurogroup officials uh, are relieved that Mr. Varoufakis will no longer be representing Greece at the meetings. Um, I don't think they had a very cushy relationship. So uh, we'll see how it goes now. But uh, for sure, things are now tougher because we are dealing with a whole new ball game here. We are talking about a new program rather than the extension of an old program. Why does that make it harder to come to a deal? I mean, the outcome of the referendum is uh, pretty irrelevant in the sense that... Irrelevant? Irrelevant in the sense that uh, Greece faces the same options today as yesterday, either reform and uh, put its public finances in order or leave the Eurozone. What then was the point of holding the referendum in the first place? <laughs> I wonder myself. But anyway, now the logistics have become more complicated because uh, the German parliament, for example, has to give a mandate to the German government to start negotiations with Greece. Because a new bailout is involved as opposed to an extension of the old one. Yes, and because we are dealing now with the European stability mechanism, not, not its predecessor, the European Financial Stability Fund. Uh, in the meantime, uh, today the German parliament went into recess, summer recess, so Mrs. Merkel would need to recall everybody so that they meet and give a mandate to the German government to commence negotiations. You're a former board member with the IMF. Last time you and I spoke, it was before the release of that draft IMF report on the debt sustainability mm -hmm. of this country. Mm -hmm. a, a report that concluded that at the very least some 40 billion dollars, 36 billion euros would be required over the next three years just to stabilize this economy. What was the motive behind releasing that report in the dying hours of the opportunity to come to a deal before the referendum? I think the IMF has been saying for a very long time that um, debt relief would be needed for Greece, most probably. And now they, I guess they wanted to make it public that now we are in a dire situation. Uh, we are in a double deep recession. Uh, the banks are closed. Uh, there is a credit crunch. So, of course, now there is a bigger need for debt relief than there was uh, a year ago when but they published their last report. it sets up a contest between Madame Christine Lagarde and Angela Merkel, does it not? In a sense, yes, but I'm sure they've talked behind closed doors many times about this issue. The fund is saying that if Greece implements the program that was on the table a week ago, with primary surpluses reaching 3.5% of GDP eventually, then they can get just maturity extensions and interest rate reductions, and that would make the debt sustainable. But if the, the primary surpluses are lower than that, and if growth is lower, then they would need a haircut. Well, a haircut is a, is a prospect that nobody wants to confront.